Hi, this is Joe Wiles with the Rock and Roll Conservatory for HowToPlayAnySong.com. In today's lesson, we're going to learn how to play Californication by Red Hot Chili Peppers. This is the title track from the Chili Peppers record of the same name, which was released in 1999. During the recording of this record, this song's lyrics had been put together, but they were struggling with putting the music together. It was finally John Frusciante, the guitar player, who came in at the last minute and put it all together musically, and the song became the title track for the Chili Peppers' most commercially successful record. In this tutorial, we're going to learn the chords, the guitar riffs, and also some supplemental guitar riffs that are actually bass parts. The guitar riff is kind of sparse. There's a lot of spaces and gaps in it, and so we're going to fill those gaps with some of uh, Flea's bass work. Let's get started. Alright, let's take a look at the guitar riff that brings the song in on the intro and carries it through, through most of the verse. It's based on an A minor to an F major chord, but we're picking the notes out of it. We're going to start with the open A string here, then our middle finger on the second fret of the D here. We're going to skip the G and move straight to the open B and pluck it, and then put our finger down, our index finger here, down on the first fret of the B string. So those four notes sound like this. And then we switch to an F form. Take our index finger down to the first fret of the low E string and our ring finger down to the third fret of the A string. Hit those two right in a row. We're going to skip the D and go to the G and hit the G open. And then put our middle finger down on the second fret of the G. Those four notes sound like this. And those two guitar riffs together sound like this. Now you can hear a lot of gap in there, so we're going to fill those gaps with some adapted guitar parts from Flea's bass work. This is the riff we're going to add in. After the first riff, we're going to come back and hit that D string where we're fretting it on the second fret, like this. Then we're going to hit it open, hammer down, pull off, like that, and then we're going to end up with our ring finger on the third fret of the A. That supplementary riff sounds like this. So together with the original guitar part, it sounds like this. Like that. Then we switch to the F, and then we'll fill in the gap with an open D and then we'll hit the A string where our ring finger is fretting it on the third fret. So that second riff sounds like this. And then we cycle that riff over again. This is what the two riffs sound like with the bass work put in the middle. And this is what it sounds like to speed. and we would loop that uh, through the verse. Now the last part of the verse, as before the whole verse turns around and goes into the second verse, we're going to do a uh, chord sequence that starts with a C major. Our ring finger is going to be on the third fret of the A string, our middle finger on the second fret of the D, and our index finger on the first fret of the B. We're going to hit the A string, then the D, then skip all the strings to the highest one, the open high E string, then the B. So hit those four in a row, then we're going to switch to a G major chord form. Our middle finger is going to be on the third fret of the low E string. Our index finger is going to be on the second fret of the A string. And our ring finger is on the third fret of the B string. We're going to hit the low two in a row, the E and the A. Then we're going to go up here to the B string, hit that one, then the open G. So that riff sounds like this. Those two chord arpeggios put together sound like this. The next one is that F chord we were at before. We're actually only going to do it like a power chord. Our index finger on the first fret of the low E string, our ring finger on the third fret of the A, and our pinky on the third fret of the D. We're going to hit the low three in a row, and then come back to the A string. 
So E, A, D, A, the string names. So this is what the three chords sound like in order. And then the last one is a D minor chord form. Our middle finger is going to be on the second fret of the G, our ring finger is going to be on the third fret of the B, and our index finger on the first fret of the high E string. And we're going to hit those all in a row, from the D string, and then hit the two high together. So, the four chords put together sound like this. Like that. So, put together with the verse riff, it'll sound like this. And I'm only going to play the verse riff a couple times through and then switch to that uh, turnaround riff at the end that we just learned. So, it sounds like this. Then we turn it around. And then we would go back into the verse for the next verse. Hey YouTubers, if you want to learn the rest of the song, you're going to have to check out our website at howtoplayanysong.com. When you get there, make sure you click our request box if you want us to teach a song that you want to learn. We'd be glad to do it and we'll get to it when we can. Also, subscribe to us here on YouTube so you know when we upload new videos. Also, we're on Twitter, Facebook, and Google Plus now, so I'll see you there. Take it easy.